What is the sound of happiness? To an athlete, it might sound like this. To a musician, it sounds like this. To a child with special needs, happiness might sound like this. Especially if the Friendship Circle volunteers are at the door. Joey waits at the window for them until he sees them. For all kids, you're looking for a series of developmental kind of experiences. You know, if you have a neurotypical kid, you want them to have friends, you want them to have a sport, you want them to have an instrument, whatever. You have a portfolio of things you want them to experience. <clears throat> and Julia has a lot of, you know, she has a lot of therapies, a lot of school, a lot of adult friends, really. Um, but this is part of the portfolio that's hard to create for her. Joey's a great kid. I mean, of course I'm going to say that, but he really is a terrific kid. He's got a great sense of humor, and um, he's very smart and full of life, and I think a lot of fun to be around, but that's within our own family. I don't know that everybody else sees him the same way we do. And, you know, where we have concerns as parents has really been, you know, in the world that we can't control outside our home, in school, with his peers, with friends. And uh, that's very much why Friendship Circle was something that uh, we became very interested in. Well, Julia finds it very hard to make friends. She wants to have friends, she wants to be close to people, but sometimes she just doesn't quite know how to do it. At first I thought it was going to be kind of like a, you know, a pity thing. You know, where somebody comes and is, they're trying to be nice to Julia. And, and that's very nice, of course. But what was interesting is after maybe the second or third visit, you could see that there was actually a real natural bond and friendship between the two of them. And that actually surprised me. I didn't expect that. Me and Ethan, we go to his house. We, we just do all the things that Joey and us, all three of us, like to do. We're kind of nerds. We like Star Wars. We like video games, playing with laser tag, Nerf guns. We play like all together. I and mean, it's fun for us. We get along really well usually because we're very similar. Before I met Joey, I didn't know that uh, all autistic kids were different. I always thought they had similar traits and they were all very antisocial and just hard to get along with. But I mean, now I look at them completely differently. He's always a happy guy. He's always wanting to do fun things. He's always has a smile on his face. He's laughing, making jokes, being smart, kind of a smart alley. The neurotypical youth need, need a little help in learning and being taught how to welcome these kids into the community. Being part of Friendship Circle definitely changed my view on special needs children. And if I saw one in the street, rather than just pass by like I usually do, uh, definitely I would say hi and because, I mean, this is what they need. I think I've become less judgmental, and I think it's easier to be with every special needs kid I see now. It's once in a lifetime. I really want to thank Jordan and Ethan for coming over. You guys are awesome.